Hello YouTube, this is Koga, and today I am going to be addressing blatant misinformation and lies being spread by the KI staff on the ban for teleporting and test realm incident on November 8th during the Lemuria test realm run. So I just want to explain the full extent of what happened, because quite frankly, some people do not understand or they're being misled over what has happened. So, to begin, I began questing in Lemuria on two accounts that same day, and then I saw a post from one of the data miners in the Atmoplex, Atmoplex Discord showing the final boss fight in Lemuria, which we now know is where you fight eight bosses all at once, and then I noticed he joined voice chat in that same server, and it was streaming it, so I wanted to see how it looked, see if he really fought eight bosses at once. And so I joined it, and at that point, they started asking, hey, does anyone want to try and do this boss with me? And it looked interesting, and I wanted a challenge, so I sent him a TFC. And then we found out that you could teleport into the fight, which is still something you can do, at least before they close test room on Friday. So, we decided to try and do it, mainly to see how challenging it was. And I want to point out that at this point, there's no point during this part did he ever say, oh, yeah, I used an exploit to enter the instance. Or were we ever you of an e are you aware of an exploit being used? Personally, I thought he found a glitch in the game that let him get into the area, or found an in-game exploit he could use, such as the one that allowed people to enter the Aether Titan, the ones that allowed people to bypass the spoiler wall in Caramel. And then, so, we began the fight, and after the first two attempts ended in losses, we changed our strategy up, and found a strat that began to work. However, during the beginning of it, the person who leaked the final fight got banned, and then he said, oh, yeah, I use an exploit to get in here. Now, while I was not paying much attention to what the call was saying, I was focusing more on the fight, what cheats were being used, how to counter them, I soon found out that he even said at that point, oh, we should not get banned for teleporting to him, we should be fine. Then, so 30 minutes after he gets banned, we finish the fight, and with someone else, in the, with more people from the Atmo Blake server that were able to teleport in. I decided to go and document the mass amount of drops we had, took a pictures with the two other Atmoplex people who were still in, Atmoplex members who were still in there as a um, picture to show that we finished the fight, which eventually was posted on their Twitter. And then I logged off shortly after that, needing to do some real life errands. However, before I left and before I left the call, I found out that one of my one of the people who teleported in got banned and test, and then another did, so I got curious and I tried to log on my account, and I found that that account got banned, and everyone was confused. We were like, we just teleported in. We didn't really know what to do. The other two, I was off, out doing errands at this point. So the other two, they were sending emails to support, where we basically found out that they think we all exploited in, even though we did not exploit in. And this is why the Appleflex made that Twitter thread. I would like to note that the Atmoplex is only fighting for our three innocent accounts to get unbanned. They are not fighting for their own account to get unbanned. They had anticipated that their account was going to get banned over this. But, so, through all this, we found out quite a bit. And even then, thanks to presumably I would assume is the um, Atmoplex's support and somewhat influence in the community, Two out of three of the bans were changed to three-month suspensions, and while I do think this is better, I still think this is a little ridiculous, considering that we merely teleported in. Although I would like to note, as of the time I am making this video, November 13th, my account is still fully banned, which I assume is because I never sent an email to them prior to this. Anyways, with all that said, this is that is exactly what happened. So you can see, there were no awareness 
from me or the others of an exploit being used and there was no and by the time we knew of an exploit was being used I was not paying attention in the chat I was just trying to figure out oh can I finish this fight and then after I did shortly after I got banned but one thing I want to also mention out here is a KI dev named Ratbeard has made quite a few points over the Atmoplex that are simply not true and I just want to address these real quick. The first thing he said was that they were all exploiting and the Atmoplex has a video out showcasing that this point is just not true. Three of us use TFCs to teleport in. That is not exploiting, that is using a mechanic in the game that allows you to teleport in. And it is still clear that you are still allowed to teleport into that fight. If someone you can still teleport into the final fight of Lemuria as of 1113. So there's no, oh, because the exploit you could teleport into the area, that is simply not true. The second point he made was that the Atmoplex planned it all out, which this is partially true. The data miners section of the Atmoplex did plan out that they were going to exploit in and find this thing out. What was not planned was doing the final fight. Which is why they asked, because they did not assume that KI would go and ban anyone over this. So while you are right that they planned that out, they pl just planned for the burner account to get banned. In fact, they never even considered thinking, oh, we'll get some of our fans to fight in a battle with us. That never crossed their mind once. And the third point he made was it was a PR stunt on the Atmoplex's side. And I'm a little confused on what he means here. I assume he means them trying to rally players against KI and the devs here is a PR stunt, but it's really not a PR stunt. They were completely surprised that they banned our accounts. I'm just going to be straight honest there. Like, they have straight up told me that they've apologized so many times, and they've straight up told me they did not expect for our accounts to get banned in that scenario. There's no PR stunt here. They're simply trying to make amends for the tragedy that took place and getting three innocent accounts banned. This is not a PR stunt. They're not trying to save face here. They're not trying to get positive PR relations with that. That's just simply not true. And the fourth thing is the Atmoplex, and this is his words, by the way, hung us out to dry three times. What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, man. This is just weird. Like, two, me and one of the others who got banned have not been in that server for a year. I joined that server March of 2021, and he joined that server five months ago. I don't know where you're hanging us out where they're hanging us out that dry three times is that was the first time i've actually like interacted with atmoplex accounts in game by the way so i don't know what you're saying here and i don't know if it's even relevant to the point at hand but my point is you are completely wrong here they did not hang us out to drive three times further evident by the call to action they made they did not have to make a public post defending us they didn't have to do that i respect them for that that's not hanging someone out to dry that's looking out for people you know and then finally the last point he says we were used by the atmoplex and again this is not true they did not anticipate our accounts would get banned they did not anticipate any of that this is Ratbeard just saying things he doesn't know about. We were not used by the Atmoplex, and they have, again, apologized to us multiple times. And they even realize how ridiculous of a situation it is. Because, again, they do not want their own account unbanned. They don't want that account unbanned. They realize they were going to lose that account, and they don't really care for it. They want the three people who have old, long-time accounts to
to get unbanned. It's all they want. They're not using anyone. It was a spur of the moment thing. To say they are being used by Atmoplex is a completely false statement set out to try and just destabilize the reputation of the Atmoplex. Anyways, I just wanted to go into those points because I just, I can't stand it when people use, I can't stand it when people go and talk about things and then they say things that are either misleading or just wrong, which is what Rapier did. Again, I should also point out I hold no ill will towards any of the devs. It's just, you, you just should not discuss this stuff on a public server. Now, all of this, there's evidence of them saying all this, which I will be linking down in the description of this video. So, that's basically my side of the story. I really didn't want to make this video, and I never planned on doing it until people kept saying things that were simply not true. It's really annoying, and I'm just... I would be fine, honestly, with the three-month suspension state. That's better than I thought what I thought it would be. While I would prefer all of our accounts get exonerated because we have done nothing wrong, the fact that it is not a permanent ban is a step in the right direction, but ultimately it's going to come down to just being able to figure it out and realize that you were in the wrong as the developers and the customer support for not being helpful to us here. Thank you for watching, and I hope I never have to make a video like this again.